Welcome back to Central Valley Buzz, everybody. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard. Sitting here with me now, Lorinda Salvador and Andrew Holden from Spectrum Art Gallery. Hello. How Hello. are you? Hello, Andrew. How Hi. are you, buddy? Uh, tell people at home about Spectrum. Well, the Spectrum Art Gallery is um, a cooperative uh, fine art uh, photography gallery and uh, the members uh, put on shows and uh, sell some art there. It's, okay. uh, the How only long has Spectrum Art Gallery been there? For me, it seems like forever. At that location, we've been there more than 10 years, but uh -huh. uh, the gallery itself has been around for almost 35 years wow. now. Well, how did you get involved, Andrew? Oh, just a couple of years ago, I uh, got involved with uh, one of the other members who saw my photography and invited me to get involved and be getting more involved. And it's a great, uh, great organization. It is. And uh, Lorinda, you don't live here. Um, no, I just moved to Mammoth Lakes a few months ago. Okay. So, yeah. And Mammoth Lakes is beautiful up, up there. Yeah, did, you, uh, did you drive down recently? I did yesterday. Ha it hit lots of snow? Lots of snow. Yeah. Long drive, but it's beautiful up there. Yeah. Awesome. You know, I've flown there from Fresno. That's a wild a, it, ride. <laughs> it's a wild ride, but it's a lot, it's a lot quicker than that drive. It yeah. drives five hours. You get there in about an hour. Well, seven, probably around seven hours in the winter because you can't go over the passes. Right. But yeah, a lot of people only fly there once and then they'll <laughs> and that's enough, right? <laughs> it's windy along the airport. Uh, and there. Tell me about you. About you. Are you a photographer? I'm a photographer. Um, I went to Fresno City College to learn photography. And who's your teacher? Um, I had a lot of teachers: uh -huh. um, Carolyn Deanda, uh, Mr. Halls, uh, Greg Hubbard, uh, uh, Lena Winther Sachs. Who all of them are just they are just fantastic teachers there. Uh, Were you a photographer before you went to Fresno City College? Well, I had a camera and I wanted to learn about my my camera and how Did to use it. Did you have a film camera? No, I had a digital a camera. Dig okay. Yeah, I took a little bit of film when I was uh, a kid, but it was expensive to process the images, sure. so kind of quit that out. But you ever uh, get you ever get the roll? You take it to the store and it comes back and all of them are I'll, black. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why digital is so wonderful. Right. So um, you you still have to process and everything, and that mm -hmm. takes a long time. So you're still careful about what pictures you take and thoughtful about the color and the light and stuff. So what kind uh, of pictures do you take? I take all kinds of pictures. So I do landscaping. I do alternative media, which is transferring my images to other medias like metals or glass or plexiglass. Oh, really? glass. And uh, that class is specifically, it's a very unique class. And I learned to do that at City College with Carolyn DeAnda, who uh -huh. specializes in that. Um, it's a fantastic way to express yourself in the images. I didn't do any of those on this show. Uh, because there was just so much to process. So, but uh, in Mammoth Lakes, I do a lot of uh, alternative media, a lot of um, sort of abstract art, abstract photography, and manipulations in Photoshop. And there, there's so much uh, landscape photography that they like something different. Tell, tell me about this Photoshop thing and, and, and you photographers. Do, do, do some photographers look down on Photoshop? I think some do, uh, some, I think but they I do. think also you have to remember that even you know Ansel Adams and, and um, other photographers that uh, from the days of film were, were still doing manipulating the photos. Mm -hmm. So they were dodging and burning, but they weren't doing it digitally. Mm -hmm. You know, they would cut and and kind of uh, uh, you know make them together Adjust to get them the right. Adjust the dark room. That's right. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, in fact, you know, a lot of Photoshop or any kind of manipulation digitally is called a digital darkroom. Mm -hmm. So it's it's no different. It's just a little easier and you have a little more tools available to you. But uh, some people think it's not art. Some people don't think that photography is art, but it is in my, my book. And it's more about sharing your image, the image that you have in your mind, like an oil painter or a sketch artist, you you want that image to, to be projected to other people. You want them to see what you see. And so that's that's important. That's an important part of expressing yourself and your art. Is there a theme to this show? The theme is, well, we started out as, as sort of a drought theme. Mm -hmm. And it kind of worked more into a water awareness theme. Uh, because it's it's difficult to artistically portray the drought without sliding into a documentary. Right. So um, I think more water awareness is is better, uh, better describes what we're what we're trying to do. And for me, I'm trying to just get my images out there to kind of stick in people's minds, let them know that 
you know, when they le leave the water running, that maybe this image will pop into their mind and they'll turn it off. So little steps to get into their mind of being aware that, you know, we can all make a difference no matter how small it is. It's not an insignificant difference. Sure. Andrew, uh, wh how, when does this show run? Uh, the show starts on Thursday, and uh, Art Hop is uh, Thursday night, so from 5 to 8 we'll be at uh, the gallery. Mm -hmm. And it runs until the, um, uh, the end of January. Nice, nice. And uh, Spectrum Gallery, no cost to get in. Nope. It's, it's a non-profit, uh, no, no cost to get in. I can't tell you how many times I've been eating at Piamonte's next door with the kids, and I just say, hey, let's get up and let's walk through Spectrum and uh, you know, get, get a little dose of art in these kids before yeah. we take them home to the video games, you know? Uh, it, it's, it's a beautiful place to, to just hang out, too, and a lot of great people hang out there. Do you ever, do you ever work the front? Uh, not very often. But uh -huh. I used to. You used to? Yeah. I used to tell people it's a good way, especially if you're out on a first date. It's a good way. Sure. Do Look that first. Yeah. Go to the gallery, kind of get something to discuss, mm -hmm. you know, so before you go out to dinner or something like that, then you have a little a little more topic than just the dead silence on a first date. So it's a good Look way to this, do Look at this right yeah. there. <laughs> All right. Uh, th th there's your New Year's uh, resolution right there. Go on a date. <laughs> All right, Lo Lorinda, thank you for coming by. Thank it's you so nice much. to talk with you. Andrew, always good to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Go, go by and see these guys at Spectrum Art Gallery. It's uh, Olive in between Echo and Broadway on the south side of the street next to Piemontes. Pretty good directions right there. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Coming up next, Crazy Bernie. Woo!